In my previous videos, I demonstrated a simple MP3 player using the DF Player Mini. In this video, the MP3 player is further modified to include an OLED display and memory stick connection via USB port. A modified circuit diagram of the MP3 player is shown here. We have this OLED screen now connected to the I2C uh, port of the Arduino and we have this USB type A female connector uh, module connected to the DF player mini where the USB plus is connected to the D plus of the module and the D minus here is connected to USB minus. And now for a quick demonstration. We press the loop button to In loop video, the current track. The TM1638 module is programmed to display a stopwatch with ticking sound. In this video, the TM1638 We press the pause button to pause the track and we press the button again to resume the track. To display a stopwatch with ticking We press sound. the loop button again to exit the loop menu and return to the main menu. We press the shuffle button video, to go to the, the shuffle menu and play all the tracks in random order. Stopwatch with ticking sound. In this video, real-time clock DS3231. is programmed to display time, date, and temperature on module TM1637. This video presents a simple Arduino-based... We FM press the shuffle button to return to the main menu. A quick look at the C++ code used in this project. Within the loop function, if uh, no button is pressed, then this function will be called and executed. And this function is used to display the main menu information on the OLED screen. The program will then jump to this uh, function and the main menu information is displayed on the OLED screen. Back inside the loop function, if we press the loop button then this function will be called and executed and if we press the shuffle button then this function will be called and executed. Inside the, the shuffle function, we play all of the tracks in random order. And when we press the loop button, the program jumps to this function and we loop the currently playing track. The DF Player Mini can be used for other applications, such as multi-channel voice alarm, which will be demonstrated in a future video. Thank you for watching.